Hello, this is H.J. Bailey. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! Let's equip that Iron Bangle on Saz, since everyone else who has low HP has one already. So, there we go. Let's continue through the Pulse Vestige, and what the hell are we doing here, anyway? I think Lightning said something about the Foul Sea. I don't know why Saz tagged along. Maybe he just wanted some of that booty. I suppose he didn't appreciate them loading him up on that train like that. Well, anyway, let's go grab this treasure! Alright, Phoenix down. Just like any other Final Fantasy game, you die, you can use that to revive during battle. And by the way, speaking of dying, if your leader dies during battle, it's game over. I mean, you could just retry the battle. But yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a weird little quirk. So, just something to keep in mind. Absolutely, absolutely keep your leader alive above all else. And here we got a new weapon for Lightning Gladius. All right. I always thought that was a knife in previous games, but, well, it's better on the strength, and I don't really care about the magic power, because all my attacks are strength-based, so that's pretty nice. So anyway, I was just saying about your leader dying. Uh, the reason they do that is because you can only directly control Those your main are still character. around. Might so. be some soldiers trapped in here, too. Yeah, I was wondering about Except that. Except they'd probably be Lassie by now. Oh. Huh? Not even human anymore. Oh, so I guess they're like... It's ...monsters, huh? Enemies of Cocoon. Nuts. Can't show them any mercy. Well, we weren't going to anyway if they were still human. So, I don't see what the difference is. And back to snow. Although there is no snow around here. There's the next one. Although there are those little sparkles everywhere. Hmm. I wonder if that's just my TV. Well, we could head up there. Or we could turn around to find a treasure. Yeah, they kind of hide that on you there. But, uh, nah. nah. But, yeah, let's grab this one first. Hey, hey, all right. More potions. How many do I have by now, anyway? Wow, yeah. <laughs> they sure do load you up on the potions, but I really like potions in this game. Especially with a certain accessory, if you know what I mean, dears. Oh, oh there it is. Straight ahead. Uh-oh. I like how Snow, during that battle, was like, You see that? Like, who the hell are you talking to? You're by yourself. Oh, well, there we go. All right. Yeah, don't sound so excited, Snow. Now, actually, his voice actor is really good. So, yeah. I've seen some of the other stuff he's done. Hang on, baby! Your hero's on the way! This elevator lift thing. How's that thing even moving? Oh, right, magic. Final Fantasy game. Hang on, baby! Your hero's on the way! Oh, just the sound of his voice. No. Nah. Nah, just kidding. Well, what's going on? Oh, and that also turned down the stairs. We could have just jumped up there, but this is a Final Fantasy game. We can't go anywhere unless, you know, the He's plot walls here. are removed. Calling himself a hero? Well, yeah, he's got to save the girl. You're not saving anyone. What are you doing here, anyway? He's coming our way. Oh. Well, what should I do? Tell Ask him, him for his autograph? That might be a good idea. But nothing I say will change what happened. Yeah, uh, you, you failed to save my mom. Uh, just wanted to remind you. We could just run away. Is that your uh, solution to everything? Uh, Apparently so. Can I move now? Yeah, we have load times. More load times! Now, just so you know, viewers, as far as, like, how cutscene-heavy the entire game is, the first two chapters are really the real cutscene-heavy part of the game to establish the characters and everything. And in this chest, I'm just going to call it a chest. We get a Fortisaw. It's like an aerosol can, except you die. Actually, I think it is an aerosol, isn't it? I think they say so in the inventory there. Uh... Okay, they don't. Well, it's an aerosol. Just take my word for it, viewers. So anyway, I mean, as far as the cutscenes go, they do tone them down eventually. 
But yeah, the first two chapters are just really heavy on that. It's kind of like Star Trek The Next Generation, you know, with the first two seasons. You know, they uh, spend the first two series, you know, the first two seasons, you know, establishing and developing characters. But, you know, the plot lines really didn't get interesting until, like, season three. Same thing here. So, I kind of like to think of it that way. That's just me. Uh-oh, ominous music. Danger music! No, no, it is not danger music. Wow, we're in another long, narrow hallway. I'm sorry, I like this game, but level design, well, could have been better. Whoa, when did this game become Resident Evil? But not that I've played any Resident Evil games. My fiance would know more what about that. What are they? See, the Lucille failed. Oh. This is what happens. When the Sea don't complete the focus the Foul Sea gave him. So they become weird robot alien huh? things, I guess. I don't know. Hey, hey, all right. There we go. Let's see even these odds. Yeah, three against six. That's fair. Or however many there are. Okay, we've got three against three. Wow, there we go. Let's try a hand grenade. I'm trying to think of something from the, uh, the movie with the holy hand grenade. One, two, five! Three, sir! Three! There we go. Well, yeah, let's just, uh, or we could do that. That works, too. Someone was saying they like how all the weapons that everyone has in the game kind of fold up to fit in your pocket there. Except Snows. He's got his fists. Fury! How did you get in here? You gotta leave. Well, we, the, wait a minute. The door opened. We got in. <laughs> okay, listen. Find some place to hide and keep quiet. Once I find Sarah, we'll all leave together. Uh, who's Sarah? Uh, you'll be home in time for dinner. Yeah, for your mom's <laughs> cooking. Oh, I'm sorry, Hope. Who's Sarah? My wife. Future wife, that is. She's a pulse, Lassie. Isn't that... No. Bad? She's here somewhere, along with that foul sea. I gotta find her and set her free. What's wrong with you? Why do you want to help with a sea? Yeah. They're the enemy. Yeah, what's wrong with you? How can you save a sea? You're not. I can't get my voice that not... high today for some reason. So... That's insane! Some days I can do it, some days <laughs> not so much. Probably. But I gotta do something, right? I'll be back. Yeah, I just want to get some of that booty. <laughs> Seems that's what everyone is in here for. Hope's got Should Vanille. Should we wait around for him and hitch a ride? I'd rather oh. go to Pulse. Oh, that too. Why is this happening to me? When they found the foul sea the other day, we were just visiting Bodum. Mm. But the army took us. Threw us on that train. Well, that's what they because did. Because of that guy. Mom is... Uh, there were guys firing Probably rockets at us, dude. What do you, what did you want him to, to help do? See? He even had a glove on. <sighs> hey again. Yeah, um, may maybe we should uh, team up. Let's go with him. You gotta talk to him, Hope. If you don't take this chance, you regret it forever. When did you suddenly get so insightful? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. All right, all five, well, maybe three of, not five of us yet, but all three of us so far. Aren't we gonna go? Or we could switch back. What's gotten into you, soldier? Thought you came for a fight. Well, we're looking for the foul seas still. My sister. Oh. Your sister? She's a Lassie. Oh, okay. yeah, you see how it's Lassie? starting to come together? Yeah. The foul sea has her captive, but I'll find oh. her. Well, that's not good. Uh, is she still... Hey, what was her focus? When she became a Lassie, what did the Foul Sea order her to do? Uh, uh, it wasn't blow up Cocoon or anything <laughs> like that, was it? I, I don't know why. I just... I found I that amusing. Ask. Maybe I, I shouldn't laugh at that. <sighs> what is with those weird symbols? Anyway? Well, I... I'm not going to tell you. Listen to me. 
When a person gets cursed by a foul sea, they become a lassie. Oh. And they get given a focus. So right? I guess they're not quite monsters. Sort of. How do I put this? If they don't carry it out, lassie end up as one of those things. Oh, that's no good. What I'm saying is, if your sister's gone that far... Well, then you, I, I mean, she wouldn't look like she did before, I. She might still... How, how can I... Oh, man. There's no way to turn a Lassie back into a human. Oh. What is this, like Even the Borg? Even if she her focus... It would fit with the whole Borg anything. cube design they got around here. She'll live her life as a foul sea slave. Oh. Well, she already is, isn't she? Apparently. Don't make her suffer. I can do it. I've Just got the gun. Just say it. Any Lassie, anyone who might ever become a Lassie should be wiped off the face of Cocoon. Well, if they're going to destroy the world, that would be a pretty good idea. It's people like you that started the Purge in the first place. Oh. oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to be insensitive about your sister. Well, anyway. Let's take a look around here. We're basically in the same place we were before, but it's, well, continuing on. So let's head thing. over here first. More of these Seath guys. One nice thing about those Seath, they're really easy to sneak up on. Give them heart attacks. And we get a power wristband. All right, let's give that to Lightning there, because it boosts your strength by 50. I'll explain what that physical wall thing is there later. It's not really important right now. So anyway, just to recap what they were talking about there before with the foul sea and the sea and sea the foul sea are basically i guess from pulse and they pick people to curse and Those make them so into lissies and if you don't do what they tell you to do you become a sea and it won't end well for you just to clarify some of the jargon for you viewers everything else around here that you all the other words are basically names of places organizations things like that but yeah, this is one of those games that makes a little more sense the second time around you play it. There's a lot of illusions and things that they say in the game that you're like, well, what the hell does that mean? But you play it the second time around and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. So it kind of adds a little bit of a uh, replay value to it. Well, here's another kind of seat. Uh, technically, it's called a shambling seat. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to use a potion there. But, uh... Yeah, this guy has some pretty powerful magic, but it takes him a while to cast it. He's pretty slow with that. So, we should be able to take him out. There we go. Alright. So far, so good. Alright. Looks like we made it to the next save point. But can we rescue Sarah? Or will her captor attempt to knock us all down? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.